All right, so you've had a chance to see what Fiji looks like. Fiji, of course, being Aladdin's faithful friend, his hovering robot sidekick. But you're probably looking at this robot and thinking, hmm, it's got white armor with orange accents, kind of roundish, very cute. What other robot does this remind me of? Listen, Fiji was not inspired by BB-8. And listen, I love BB-8 just like everyone else, but Fiji was actually designed way back in the early 90s when Fiji was a character in a comic book that I created called Castar Shandax. And Fiji always had white armor with orange accents. Now over the years, the look of Fiji has kind of changed and evolved. But the final version of Fiji was actually created before they even started filming The Force Awakens. That said, you can imagine how I felt. I think we were two years into filming with Fiji when artwork had leaked online of what BB-8 looked like. Of course, being this cute, lovable robot that's white with orange accents. And I remember thinking, oh my gosh, it's going to be years before people really are exposed to Fiji and everyone's gonna think we copied. Now, truth be told, obviously Fiji is a very Star Wars-ish looking robot. And I remember even way back when, Fiji was obviously inspired by Star Wars, but in particular, all cool robots of the 80s. I'm talking Twiki and Daggett, and in particular, one of my favorite robots from the 80s is Vincent from the Black Hole, and I love that he was kind of this roundish floating robot. That may have been more inspiration for Fiji than any other robot, to tell you the truth. Now, when designing the armor and colors, I knew I didn't want the accent color to be blue because, of course, that would look like R2-D2. And I didn't want it to be red because that would look like R5-D4. But I remember I really thought these robots from this movie called Silent Running, I really thought this orange color was really cool because orange is just this really 70s mechanical color that's just very functional. And so I always wanted the accent color to be orange. The look of Fiji had evolved quite a bit over the years, but in the end, I wanted Fiji to be this robot that Aladdin could make himself. This future is kind of like Mad Max in the sense where manufacturing is dead. So Aladdin, like a lot of people in the future, they kind of build anything that they need out of junk from the past. So you probably can tell that Fiji's head is actually a radio and Aladdin likes to upcycle things to make all of his little trinkets and everything that he collects or steals and puts really cool stuff together. Fiji, of course, being his masterpiece creation. The rest of Fiji was made out of old toys and I think the inside of television sets, all kinds of things kind of super glued together. And with the help of Clayton Celesto, we created this mechanical puppet that uh, just comes to life on screen. And it's super, super cool. I can't wait for you guys to get to know Fiji better. In fact, there is a way that you can get to know Fiji a lot better, and that is the new Fiji Designer Toys. And the toys kind of look like this. These are prototypes of the toys. So this isn't the final version, but they are awesome. They're a nice hefty size. They're three inches tall. If you want to see a close look at the final version, you need to tune in to the live stream lounge this Sunday. It's gonna be every Sunday where I'm gonna unveil close looks at what these Fiji toys look like. Of course, there's gonna be the standard version that looks like Fiji from the films, but also there are five more versions that have slightly different paint jobs. Every single one of them is super cool. You're gonna to wanna to collect all six. The only way that you can get these really cool Fiji designer toys is from the Kickstarter that's happening right now. I'll leave a link down below in the description. There's all kinds of really cool Aladdin 3477 merch, swag, posters, books, toys, all kinds of really cool things happening now. The movie's coming out soon. I can't wait for you to see it. Definitely check out the Kickstarter though because there is some rare and exclusive stuff and it's the only way you're gonna be able to get it. Check it out now. Thank you guys so much for your support. I can't wait for you to see everything that's coming soon.